Blessed and fire. Good morning, good afternoon, and good night. My name is Voja. Voja Zazazo. I love your hair. Thank you. I love the color. Thank you. Have a good one. And this is another moment behind the veil with Zazazo. Message to the collective. Key word. Toxic entanglements. Toxic entanglements. You guys, as a third generational healer, I am a master of toxic relationships. I can honestly say without any shame that my spiritual, my first and second spiritual husband ruled my world for many, many years. And I didn't even know that their toxic connections with me were actually affecting my life until way later in the game that I call life. It's a monopoly, you know. Are you winning or are you losing? And what I've realized with the biggest toxic relationship I've ever been in, which is my two spiritual husbands that I was married off to from very, very young, I realized for as long as you let them control you and your decisions will be for as long as you will be controlled by them. And most of the time, your highest timeline potential will not be realized because just like toxic human relationships, toxic deity and spiritual relationships are the worst. I'm thinking about some shit. And I've realized that once I took control, oh my God, these are so cute. Oh my God. Oh my God. Once I took control of who I was and I found out, oh my God, look at this little girl, um, who I was. She's a mermaid, a bear mermaid. Once I took control of who I was and once I figured out how powerful I was, I started the journey of getting control of my life. Now, once you realize that there are spiritual husbands and spiritual wives that will hinder you from relationships, connections, and will purposely connect you with the wrong connection just to make sure you don't realize your highest potential connection, you, you overstand in your mind, body, and soul that this ascension is a must because it's only when you go inside of yourself and find out who you are, where you come from, and what your potential power can be, you will always be lost. You will always be a slave. You will always be a follower of someone else. Oh my God, these are so cute, you guys. Um, so I'm trying to stay focused. Oh my God, Harry Potter, teddy bears. Oh my God, they should have a black one. Anyway, um, so message to the collective. How do I know when my spiritual husband or spiritual wife is running my life? You are in addiction. You are lackluster. You are lackadaisical. You are repeating the same habits, the same, um, what we French people call defos, the same habits, um, the same addictions, the same um, mundane life over and over again. Relationships and connections fall off. Your best connections, they disappear or they're not working. Or you get into relationships and it doesn't work out. And you are dating fuck boy after fuck girl after fuck boy. Okay? It is not until you realize that these spiritual energies, some of them are so in love with you that they do not want to see you with any other human. These entities, these energies, they are the biggest toxic connections. And I'm talking about my Alegbas. I'm talking about my Hakates. I'm talking about my, um, my, uh, 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 
Batalaos. I'm, I'm talking about all male and feminine energies. These deities are jealous. These deities are, are very um, wanty, wanty and needy. And if you don't control them by going through this ascension, you are going to lose yourself in the process that you call life. Oh my God, look at the girl, the ballerina. Oh, this is so cute. Oh, she a warrior. I like that. You guys, we are in Build a Bear. We are in Build a Bear. Oh my God, they got a frog mermaid, you guys. They have a frog mermaid. Oh my God. You guys, so... Once you realize that you are in a toxic relationship with your spiritual husband or your spiritual life, you can even have these toxic relationships with dead ancestors, dead friends, dead cousins. I had a, a boy that I had a major crush on hinder my love relationship for many years and I didn't even notice. I didn't even notice it until like a year or a couple of years in. I don't remember. You guys... You got to be careful with these deities, especially my new beginner readers that are just starting to read um, people. You will have these deities latch onto you and they will not let go. Some of them you haven't even met in the matrix, but they're still latched onto your energy, to your aura, to your ether. Okay, so... How do you release from these energies? How do you set yourself free from these attachments? You go through this rapture. The rapture is not what the Bible says where you have to, um, like a spaceship is going to come and take you away. No, the rapture is internal. You got to do better, think better, feel better in the ascension, make better decisions, and realize that God is not outside of you, but God is authentically inside of you. And everyone has the opportunity to become God body and God mind. You just have to know it. And not only know it, you have to be it. They got the rainbow collective alien. That kind of looks like a character in my children's show. Um, baby Alan, my, my baby alien. And they have a unicorn. You guys, so Ishera, how do we get rid of toxic spiritual connections? You get rid of toxic spiritual connections. Oh, I love this one. This is beautiful. Spiritual toxic relationships by eating better, by meditating, by making sure that you are surrounded by high vibrational people. That you do not get caught up in the matrix and what the matrix has to offer when it comes to how it can make you look, your clothes, even the undergarments you wear. As you move forward in your life, you have to make it your business to realize that your beauty is not outside of you just like your God is not outside of you. It is inside of you. And once you understand this baby boy, baby girl, you are on that correct road to not only detach from physical toxic relationships, because if you're in a toxic relationship, the only reason you're in one is because you have a spiritual toxic relationship. They love to send you connections that's not going to work because they don't want you connected to another human. These Entities are very jealous, are very picky, and are very territorial. I'm talking to my Baba Laos. I'm talking to my Santerias. I'm talking to my voodoo priest. I'm talking to any beings who are connecting with these deities, whether it is reading cards, whether it is um, asking them for favors, whether it is completing ritual magic to get something. Remember, what you owe, what you know, you owe. So if you go into a deity to get something, best believe you have to give that deity something in return. And if you don't, baby, here is where the problem lies. So, Last thoughts, collective, last thoughts. If you want to set yourself free from all of your spiritual toxic relationships, you got to eat better. You got to meditate more. You got to focus on you. 
It's not about taking care of your kids. It's not about keeping your house clean. It's not about keeping that job that you don't even want to be at. It's about what are you doing for you? If people are stepping on you, then your ascension journey is to not get stepped on. If you a pushover, then your ascension journey is not to be a pushover. If you are someone who is afraid of the dark, then your ascension is to become friends or even lovers with the dark. Everybody's ascension is different. Hear me when I tell you. Everybody's ascension is different. And once you understand that, you will put yourself on the right road to make all of your dreams come true. Okay, collective? How do we separate ourselves from these toxic relationships? Taking care of your body. Checking your pH. Not just sleeping with any and everything around you. You know? Not saying or speaking just anything. Not being toxic to yourself and to your family. The road to ascension is the only way to clear your spiritual toxic relationships. I will say it again. If you are in a toxic relationship, it's because you have a spiritual toxic relationship. Whether it be a spiritual husband, a spiritual wife, or both. And if you are an ascended master... Your life has always been to be the better you you can be and face fear head, head on. For as long as you do not face your fears, you will forever be lost. You will forever be trapped in a toxic relationship and you will forever never reach your highest potential timeline. Yeah, you'll, you'll do great things, but you won't reach your highest timeline. So you got to face your fear. You got to face it head on. And you got to be a better person every year. Because once you do that, all your spiritual toxic relationships will dissipate. And your biggest potential timeline will be manifested and realized. So on this beautiful day, if you're still here with me, because I know this was a long one. If you are stuck in a spiritual toxic relationship... The best way you can deal with it is dealing with yourself. Stop drinking. Stop smoking too much. Eat better. Drink better. Treat better. Tr treat people better. Treat yourself better. And I'm not talking about treating yourself to a new car. I'm talking about treating yourself to not be cheap or treating yourself to not be a pushover again with your family. Treat yourself better to actually believe in yourself and start that business. Believe in yourself and reach the stars on whatever you want to do. Okay? My name is Voja. Voja Zazazo. I'm a third generational healer and master alchemist in my Haitian bloodline family. And this has been another one, another one. Woo, Isha was, Isha was now. Zaza's world. If you want to get into your timeline and you want to get deeper into how you can break your own generational curses, hit us up at Cash App at Zazazo. That's Cash App at Zazazo. We have an $11.99 rapid read, a $44.99 angelic read, and an $88.99 demonic read. In that reading, all of your haters and your and your spiritual blocks will be revealed in that reader that reading that's why it's so expensive because as a devil's advocate i have no problem talking and communicating with demonic entities so that 8899 read i find out all your haters spiritual and physical and it's up to you if you're going to either address those demonic energies in your cipher or you're not going to Blissed and fire, you guys, and remember, even the nicest people are in toxic relationships, but most of them are in toxic relationships behind the veil with spiritual entities. My name is Voja, and this has been another moment behind the veil with Zazazo. I'll talk to you guys soon, and don't forget to like and friend on our main page at Dark Goddess 99 and don't miss
our next live. Please stand fire.